Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to The Empty Inn. This is a game by Candlelight Studios. Uh, it's made by basically one developer. His name is uh, Joshua Temblet. Uh, it is a 2D horror game, 8-bit style, NES style, if you will. Um, and it's, it's pretty interesting. Um, everything about it is pretty simple and straightforward. The controls are basically WASD and click. And that's it. Um, but the the story and the premise around it is what really, you know, kind of kind of fleshes out everything else. Um, when I say horror, as in it's not really very jump scary, um, but it definitely achieves the horror aspect through, as you can see the uh, here right now the the ambient uh, music, the ambient sound design. I guess there's no music. Um, and and the the general uneasiness you get while playing uh, it's very it's very weird you'll have to see stick with me um, but basically the premise is you're this person you enter this empty inn you don't know what's going on um, you have to find keys to get progress through the the inn and find out more and more about the story what's going on you find out some uh, some parts of the story like you read newspaper clippings stuff like that um, and then you're, you're only equipped with a uh, lantern, and the lantern or lamp, if you will, will degrade over time. And once you run out of light, uh, the monsters will come out and uh, eventually kill you. Um, but lucky for us, there are matches littered throughout the game that we can keep, keep ourselves lit, uh, stay out of harm's way. But uh, let's just jump right into it. There's not much going on with options, menus, and stuff. It, it's it, it's a 2D game. It's 8-bit. You're not really going to get much more. Um, but uh, as as far as holding up, it, it it's definitely definitely done well. Uh, I haven't had any like crashes or anything like that. Um, and like I said, it's not taxing or anything. So let's just hop right in. I'm going to start a new game. Uh, so. You know, I don't spoil anything because it is it is a very interesting uh, story. So we'll start from the new game. I'll only go a little bit into it, uh, just based on how much I'm, I don't want to give away. It's it's just it's such a good uh, premise here that you know you just have to play it for yourself. But I'll just show you I'll show off the mechanics, and um, you know we'll get going. So I'm gonna click to start new game, and we're gonna enter the empty inn. Arrive on a dark and stormy night with our lantern, and here we are on this little little person right here. And I found some keys. You have to you you click click anywhere and to find you know things. Um, so like where I found that key, I had to click all these locked doors. So as you can see in the top uh, left hand corner we have our uh, health and we have uh, our lantern life. So right here these are uh, some matches so if I pick them up my lantern will go back up to full like so. This right here is a little save crystal. Um, I'm not even going to touch it now. We don't need to use it. So these doors right here are locked. So let's go on up to here. And there's little little parts of the story each time you go into a new section. Um, you know, this is just the intro, so there's a lot of that. Okay, let's search this. So basically, you see wherever wherever I have a question mark, that's when I can click and search. Matches, always good. Alright, so we got that key. And I believe that's this door. Yep, that unlocks. Now things are starting to get weird. People going mad with all the keys. Hmm, very, very interesting. 
there's that. I'm going to keep the matches there just in case of emergency. It's good, you know, because the matches will bring you back up to full, so you don't want to, you know, I didn't know that was there. But uh, you don't want to just keep using them uh, in case you have to, oh god, um, in case you have to run away from something um, and you are losing light, you want to you want to keep your options open so you have like a, a you can backtrack and uh, you know, get get some matches when you need them. So on top of all this, there's it's pretty much like a puzzle game. Um, you know, you don't know why you're here. You're uncovering the bigger story. Yes, that's true, but. Uh, you know, to progress through other places, you know, on top of the keys that you need, you kind of have to figure out, you know, where you are. You kind of have to figure out the layout of the inn as you progress. Uh, there's some more matches. Nothing here. Whoa. As you can see, the sound is is just is awesome. Now, that's a little box here. I know where that key is, but I'm not going to tell you guys. Um, I'm going to let you guys figure that out for yourself when you uh, when you do pick up this game. Back to this. Let's head on back up here. See if we can. Let's pick up some, some of those matches that I left. Can I leave some down here? Yes. Really cool concept, really uneasiness in the gameplay. Uh, you know, I, I don't really want to go farther than this. Um, I feel like this just shows off enough of the game to to give you guys an idea um, of what to expect. You know, uh, the puzzles get harder, um, the story gets gets more in depth, and uh, it's it's really it's really interesting to play. I had a, I had a lot of fun playing through it. Um, so it's just it's 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 a cool experience, if you will. So I'm actually I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop here with the gameplay. Um, these are slave slots if you wish. Uh, but basically, you know, I really enjoyed the game. It was a cool experience. Um, it definitely not something I would really expect from a 2D game. Um, you know, I love the NES style, but I've never really seen it done in a, in a, a horror way like this. Um, you know, there are games, there are old school games that, you know, tried to go, go for horror and stuff. But I think with the Empty Inn, uh, the sound design really, really pays, uh, pays tribute to, to really getting you in the mood to, um, to get that horror out of the game. So while, while you're not really jumping um, you know at each time you enter rooms there are times where it's you know you get you got pretty uneasy like, remember we, we went into a couple of rooms there were a couple ghostly figures if you will and um, they give you quite a chill but not something to just jump at but uh, definitely something that's just a little off you know what I mean but uh, there you have it that is the empty inn um, you can go pick it up at candlelight studios uh, Dot com, I believe I can. I'm gonna link everything in the description. Uh, you can go and pick it up. I believe it's $2.99, and in my opinion, it's well worth it. It's it's a nice little game. Um, it's not terribly long, but it's it's cool. It's cool. It gives uh, it gets my approval. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe and check out. More stuff of mine over at IndieJuice.tv. Check out the channel for more reviews, and I will keep them coming. Thanks for watching.